Elliot, congratulations. That was a superb win after a slightly strange opening frame. You, from the commentary box, it seems as though, quite simply, you were cold. Yeah, I was freezing. My hands were freezing. I, I don't know why it was. It took about a frame and a half for the room to warm up. My hands were honestly numb. I was trying to breathe on my hands and sit on my hands, but I, it wasn't very nice, like. And then after you got over the line and levelled things up at one apiece in the second, you really seemed to hit another gear. I, I get the feeling that you relish these big occasions and these big rivals like Sean Murphy. This is the stage and these are the kind of matches <clears throat> that made you first want to be a snooker player. 100%, yeah. Like, I did. That's, that's what I practice for, to be honest. I know, I know you're supposed to be the people around yourself, but I always perform better on the bigger stage, the fuller the crowd, the rowdier the crowd. I always play better on that stage and I, I don't know why that is. And I'm, I'm trying to find out and work out why, but I just love the challenge. I see it as a challenge. When you're playing them, you, you know you have to perform, otherwise you're gonna get absolutely battered. And, and I like that challenge. And I like to test myself to see where I am. If I turn up and I get hammered, I get hammered. But I know if I go for my shots and I get them, I'm dangerous and I, I can win. I believe I can always win against these players. I think that's why I've got such a good record against the top players generally. And it also seems as though you've got used to playing behind closed doors because I know how disappointed you were that yeah. your Crucible debut was one that was born out in front of you know, a few cameramen and a couple of commentators and it took you a while to settle into that match mm. against Yan Bing Chiao. But it didn't seem to bother you this evening that there was no crowd. You settled quickly. Um, it's a funny one really because I, I just kind of keep trying to tell myself everything will go back to normal eventually. Everything can't stay bad or in this sort of circumstance forever. So I'm just kind of trying to brainwash myself to look forward to when it does come back and enjoy it even more. Because it, it's not the same. I didn't get the butterflies the way I normally do before games. And I think when you're missing them, they will keep you sharp. They want to keep you keep you focused off the ball from shot one. I, I, I like them nerves, it's, it's normal. But when you, you just feel a little bit not flat, but just, just possibly a little bit too relaxed because there's no run and all. And if, if you're missing, and you, do you know what I mean? It's just, and it, it's a little bit like a practice session, isn't it? You just turn up, you, you feel like there's only you, the referee, and the opposition there, and the marker or whatever. But yeah, and, unless you're thinking of the bigger picture, people watching and stuff like that, but you can't see them. So, well, you, you obviously got motivated enough to beat Sean. Where would you rank that overall? Because I know you've beaten Ronnie a couple of times. And excellent deep run at the Northern Ireland Open but that, that, that was a pretty special win tonight um, yeah it's, it's got to be one of, one of the bigger ones because it's in a major comp as well it's in the second biggest comp there is so that, that's probably a little bit more I know I've done okay in a couple of smaller tones German Masters and the Irish Open but these are big big comps like the, well the Triple Crown events do you know what I mean so to do it on a big stage against the big players it's, it's got to be up there has to be and it makes you a dangerous opponent because now I guess you're going to take even more confidence mm. into the next round and you're just going to enjoy the form and, and, the, and the environment and see where it takes you. Yeah, 100%. Like, I've won these games before and played quite well and then played terrible next match, but then I've won these games before and played quite well. You know yourself, Snooker, it's, it's all on the day. I could turn up tomorrow or whenever I play and play terrible and get beat, but I know I could also play a lot better than that and kind of progress further. Well, well done tonight. A fantastic win. See you in the third round. Thank you very much. Cheers, Ron.